Hey everyone, welcome back to A-Level Lessons Online. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Alright, uh, we are back with microeconomics in this video, looking at negative externalities. In my previous part, I've already gone through what positive externalities are. So now let's look at this next cause of market failure, which is on your negative externalities, right? It's going to be very, very similar. You're going to notice that throughout the entire set of slides that I have here, the only things that I actually changed were basically your economic concepts, right? Most of the things actually remain the same. It's basically just the total opposite from positive externalities. So when you look at the definition of externalities, just to recap again, okay, it occurs when consuming or producing a good or service has an impact on third parties who are not directly involved. So they are not involved in the consumption or production of this good or service. That is what our definition is. So when we look at negative externalities, it comes with this already a negative connotation, right? Because the word of negative inside. So essentially what it refers to is your third party costs. So we're no longer going to be looking at benefits. We're looking at costs that third parties who are not directly involved in this transaction, in this economic transaction, actually face or suffer. So it causes a divergence between your MSC, which is your marginal social cost, and your marginal private cost, your MPC. Okay, right? We'll see later on why. Um, and negative externalities likewise can be brought about by consumers or producers. So depending on the question, you need to be able to identify if this good or service is a production or it's a consumption issue which is producing these negative externalities. All right, in this video, right, we're going to be looking at, at the example of cigarettes. I think it's, a, it's an example that a lot of you guys have already heard of. So this case, I'm going to be looking at the market failure for cigarettes, which is known to produce a lot of negative externalities. Um, other possible market failures in the form of negative externalities could be things like your factories, right? They produce a lot of pollution, right? Those are third party effects as well. Um, as well as possibly the drug market or the alcohol market. These could be possible negative externalities, uh, market failures as well. Alright, so when you're explaining a market failure, we're going to be following these seven steps over here. Some of you guys may have eight steps, six steps, it depends on how you break it up. Uh, firstly, we're going to want to define what market failure is and then as well as definition of your negative externalities. So market failure has a very strict definition. It occurs as a result of economic inefficiency in a market where in the case of market failure, um, it's actually in this case brought about by negative externalities due to your cigarettes. So negative externalities occur when the consumption or production of a good or service, in this case we're looking at consumption because cigarettes, they only come with the third party effects when it's consumed, right? When it's produced, yes, it could have some as well, but usually when you look at the market for cigarettes, we're looking more at the consumption market. So when it has a negative impact on third parties who are not directly involved in the consumption or production of this good or service, which in this case is going to be cigarettes. Alright, so firstly, what we always do is we always look at who is the one who is involved first. Who is the one who is consuming this product? Who is the one who is producing this good or service? So in this case, we're looking at consumers first. So we want to explain what their marginal private benefit, private because it's only to them, um, as well as the marginal private cost, MPB and MPC, are going to be. So the marginal private benefit to a consumer is the additional satisfaction gain from smoking, right? It is a marginal benefit, meaning to say that it is an add-on, right? Every time you hear, you hear the word marginal in economics, it means that it is an added-on. So it's an additional benefit that a consumer stands to gain when they smoke. In this case, they feel satisfied, they feel that small sense or that, that um, short duration of highness that they enjoy. So that could be their, their benefit. Um, or the marginal private cost is the additional cost required to consume an additional unit of cigarette. We're always looking at additional, right, when it comes to your marginal private benefit or cost. So likewise, your marginal additional cost, um, I mean, your, your marginal private cost, which is going to be an additional cost, is going to be the additional cost of that last unit of cigarettes. So in the free market, consumers will always consume where their private benefit equals to their private cost so as to maximize their own welfare, right? When their additional benefit is equivalent to the additional cost that is required for that additional unit of cigarette. So after this, you want to explain 
um, the marginal external cost. Right? In this case, there's MEC. So assuming that there are no negative externalities, oh sorry, it shouldn't be negative here, it should be no positive externalities, my bad. So assuming that there are no positive externalities, what happens is that, let me just correct this over here. All right, assuming that there are no negative, uh, no, no positive, I'm, I'm just reading off this thing now, gosh. Right, assuming that there are no positive externalities, the marginal external benefit will be equivalent to zero. Right, that means the additional external benefit to society is going to be zero. And thus, your MSB equals to MPB, since MSB equals to MPB plus MEB. Right? This is your classic equation. I've gone through in a previous video how we derived at this equation. Essentially, it is societal value equivalent to a private value plus the external value of third parties. All right, after this, we want to explain in detail. Um, give us some concrete examples, some concrete explanation on what negative externalities even are. So negative externalities arise as the consumption of cigarettes results in spillover cost on third parties, such as family members through worsened health effects um, through the secondhand and thirdhand smoke, which can result in the onset of lung cancer and infection. So whenever you're looking at the marginal external cost or the negative externalities, you want to explain in detail exactly why it is a cost to third parties. So in this case, the reason is that it is a health hazard, right? It can bring about secondhand smoke, thirdhand smoke, which actually causes um, the acceleration of possibly lung cancer amongst the people, the family members, the colleagues around this person who is smoking. So that would be your negative externalities explained. After which, you want to explain the divergence between MSC and MPC, which is known as MEC. So, like the formula is for your MSB, uh, due to the negative externalities, there will be this divergence of MEC between MSC and MPC. Right? Since your MSC, which is your marginal social cost, is equivalent to MPC plus your marginal external cost. So, likewise, this is basically society. This is the smoker. And this is the third parties. All right, so just think of it as this equation over here. Just a simplified one, okay? This does not represent the whole of society. All right, but this is how the formula works. So when there are negative externalities, it will cause a divergence of this marginal external cost, which is an ex additional external cost that um, third parties would face as a result of this person smoking. Uh, after this, you want to draw the diagram. So over here, the diagram is very simple. It's just the opposite. So likewise, that I've gone through in the previous video, right? Take, take your MPB, um, your marginal private benefit as like the demand, and your MSC or MSB, like your uh, your MSC or your MPC, like your um, supply. Okay, just think of them as the opposites, right? If, if you are, if you have, that's only if you have trouble memorizing which way is which. If you do not have that trouble, right, then you don't have to have that idea in your head. Just go ahead and just keep doing what you're doing. So likewise, when it comes to this um, negative externalities, you have the quantity of cigarettes and the price of cigarettes. So you have got MSB and MPB. What happens is that you always draw your MPB first, your marginal private benefit, which coincides with your marginal social cost. This will give you a equilibrium quantity by consumers of cigarettes of QE. In this price, okay, the price is not very important. But the issue arises when there is a divergence that is caused due to negative externalities. So it causes this divergence over here, otherwise known as your MEC, the marginal external cost. And this will cause this divergence will cause MSB and MPB to be separated. Since the formula goes MSB equals to MPB plus now this existing MEB due to your negative externalities. So this will cause your new socially, or not even new, okay, but essentially your socially optimal level, which is where your MSC and your MSB coincide, to be over here at QS. Right, take note that over here you're missing one thing, okay? You have to always write equals to MPC because there are no positive externalities present. No positive externalities externalities hence your m eb equals to zero hence msb equals to mpb right in case you guys are still wondering why so this will give you a 
quantity, a socially optimal level of your QS, as indicated over here, and QE, which is the equilibrium quantity of the market. So this is why it causes a welfare loss, a dead weight loss, okay, some will call it a dead weight loss, which is represented by this blue area in here, this shaded area. Alright, because of these negative externalities that arise when the consumption of cigarettes is apparent in the market. So this is how you would draw the diagram. And if you have any questions on this diagram, join just leave it in the comment section below and we'll see how we can um, maybe dive more into it, alright? Okay, next or the last step okay, that you want to do is to explain the societal optimal level and the dead weight loss to society. So likewise, the socially optimal level, like we've said just now, is going to be QS. It always occurs when the additional societal cost equals to the additional societal benefit. Right, so this is when an additional cost to society equals to the additional benefit gained by society for the additional last unit of cigarettes. So since the equilibrium quantity of the market is more than your quantity of your socially optimal level, there is definitely an overconsumption of cigarettes. Sorry, I didn't change this when I was copying the slides over. So there is an overconsumption of cigarettes for every additional unit consumed between your QE and your QS. Hence, your marginal social cost is more than your marginal social benefit. Right, Mean, Meaning to say that the additional cost to society is now more than the additional benefit to society due to the overconsumption consumption of cigarettes. So this would cause the dead weight loss, which is basically the area as you have seen just now, the, the shaded area, um, which is equivalent to your MEB, or MEC, sorry, your marginal external cost. Right? This is why there is a dead weight loss due to the negative externalities. So hence, with the presence of this dead weight loss, it will cause economic inefficiency to arise, and hence a market failure in the market of cigarettes, due to negative externalities. And that's all you need to explain for this entire part on cigarettes. So very simple, always start off with talking about who is the consumer, who is the one consuming the cigarettes, and why do they consume that amount? Reason being is because it's to maximize their own welfare. It is where they will consume from MPC equals to MPB, right, their own private benefit and private cost. And then after that, go on to explain more about um, what negative externalities are, and then why there is... Um, um, and then your assumptions sorry, um, as to why there are no positive externalities and then move on after that to go ahead and draw your diagram and then come back here to the societal optimal level and your dead weight loss to conclude that there is a market failure that is caused as a result of negative externalities and then you'll be good to go for this entire essay right? if not, the exam requirements very simple you need to be able to define negative externalities in one line and be able to write an essay explaining how negative externalities lead to market failure. So market failure always arises when there is dead weight loss to society, when there is economic inefficiency, this is what causes a market failure and negative externalities is notorious for doing that, okay? which is why later on we'll see that there is a need for policies to be in place such that the socially optimal level can be reached and we can reduce this overall, uh, not, not over, this reduce this overconsumption of cigarettes. So if not, that's all I have for this video, alright? If you have any questions, uh, you can go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. I hope I've spoken slowly enough for you guys because some of you guys will say that I speak way too fast. So hopefully that will do the trick for the other videos. If you think it's too fast, I think you can slow down the speed at the top end corner of your video. Right? I think there's a 0 0.75 times speed if you need to slow it down. Um, if not, that is all I have for this one. If you did learn something and you did enjoy, be sure to give it a like as well as to subscribe to the channel. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything and really, really does help me out a lot. If not, that is all I have. I will see you guys in the next one. Keep studying hard. Have a good one. Bye-bye.